Do you want to know which is better between the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 and the Anchor Solux F3800? This is the right video for you then. I'm going to be going over in detail the differences, pros and cons of these systems compared head to head so that way you know if you're looking for one of these systems, which one to go with. My name is Ben and this is the Minuteman Solar YouTube channel and the Anchor Solux F3800 has been out for a while as well as the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3. And you can see they have quite different form factors where this one is long and short, this one is tall and skinny, and people debate every single day which system they should go with, and it's time to settle the debate. So I've made 14 different categories that we're gonna compare these head to head and see which one of them you should go with. I'm gonna use a tally system so that way we can keep track of which one has the most points at the end, and then I want you to comment down below if you would disagree or agree on who the winner is. To be 100% clear, there is no predetermined winner in this. This is purely a head to head comparison looking at the specs and experiences of people so that way it's easier to determine which one is the best one to go with. Getting right into it, the inverter. Inverter output is how much you can run at one time, as well as if it can handle surge loads such as a well pump turning on. The Delta Pro 3 only has a 4,000 watt inverter, but it has the ability to use X-Boost. And X-Boost is a way to get more power out of the inverter, and when you do that, you get up to 6,000 watts of continuous output. On the Anchor Solux F3800, it is already at 6,000 watts of output, so you don't have to adjust anything, it's just 6,000 watts. So because both of them have the equal ability to run 6,000 watts, they both get a point. But when it comes to using energy from that inverter, that gets us to category number two, which is AC output. Both of these have the ability to run 120 volt and 240 volt split phase power. On the Delta Pro 3, you can only run one or the other. That's single phase or split phase, meaning 240 or 120, but not at the same time. On the F3800, you can run both split phase and single phase at the same time. Now the real question is, would you need 120 while running 240? Because the most common way to run 240 is by plugging it into a transfer switch or an interlock switch and run power to the whole house. So if that's the case, then all of the outlets in the house are already gonna be working. But either way, the F3800 is the winner here because you can use both at the same time. But how long is it going to be able to run? And that's where we get to category number three, which is the internal battery capacity. Now the Delta Pro 3 has a 4,096 watt hour capacity and the F3800 has a 3,840 watt hour. So they're fairly close, but Delta Pro 3 is a clear winner because it has more than a 5% larger battery. But what if I need to run more power for longer and need more battery? Well, then we get into the expandability of these systems for expansion batteries, and that's category number four. Each Delta Pro 3 can get up to 12.3 kilowatt hours of total capacity because it can have two more expansion batteries on it. Whereas the F3800, on the other hand, can get up to 26.9 kilowatt hours of total battery capacity once it's fully expanded. So far, it is not looking great for the Delta Pro 3, but is that going to be the case by the time we get to the end of this list? And one of the most important factors with any solar generator or power station is the solar input, and that's category number five. Now there's really two parts to this. That is both total watts input as well as the charge parameter, because obviously the total wattage input is important for fast charging, but it needs to be in a voltage and amperage setup that's easy to connect panels together. So the Delta Pro 3 will allow for up to 2.6 kilowatts of solar input, with the higher one being 30 to 150 volts and the lower one being 11 to 60 volts. On the F3800, it's a very close second at 2.4 kilowatts of solar input. That's two inputs from 16 to 60 volts. I personally dislike 60 volt inputs on any system, but to have a totally fair comparison, the Delta Pro 3 here is better for solar input, especially with the higher voltage input, it's gonna be easier to connect panels. So in this category for solar input, the Delta Pro 3 is the winner. But we don't always use solar panels to recharge the system. Sometimes it's easier to just plug it into an outlet and let it recharge at home. And that gets us to our next category, which is AC input. Now the Delta Pro 3 has the unique ability to input both 120 volt and 240 volt. And in 120 volt mode, it'll go up to 1800 watts of input. But in 240 volt mode, you can get upwards of 4,000 watts of input, which is extremely fast charging. That's basically charging this in an hour. Whereas the F3800 will only do 120 volt input, and it can do that up to 1800 watts. So in terms of 120 volt charging, they're the same, but because this one has more than double the charge speed by using 240, this is the clear winner for AC charging. And there's one more extra bonus with that. 
When you're using 120 volt input on the F3800, you cannot get 240 volt output out and the 120 volt outlets are also reduced in the amount of power you can pull from them. Whereas the Delta Pro 3, regardless of 120 volt or 240 volt input, you'll be able to get full pass through capability, meaning zero limitation on the output. The EcoFlow is the only company that has figured out how to have 120 volt power going in and get 240 volt power going out. But what if the power is out and you need to recharge this from a gas generator because the weather was really bad that day and the solar didn't do so well. And that gets us to the next category of generator charging. And the Delta Pro 3 can charge from a gas generator, both 120 or 240 volt input and they also have the optional smart generator that you can get as a companion to this, to where once this battery hits 20, 10, 0%, whatever you select, the smart generator will automatically turn on and start recharging this at whatever rate that you choose. So you can fast charge this automatically, completely hands off with their smart generator, and it's a fully self-sustained system. Whereas with the F3800, you can use a gas generator, but you still are limited to the 120 volt input unless you upgrade to the new F3800 Plus where it has a special generator input port and then you have to get a specific generator adapter, at which point then you can use a normal gas generator and recharge it, but you're not gonna have any of the automation to have the gas generator turn on and recharge the system automatically. So once again, the Delta Pro 3 is a clear winner for generator charging. But is any of that relevant if these systems are gonna die quickly by not having high life cycles. And that's the next category, which is life cycles. The Delta Pro 3 advertises 4,000 life cycles to 80% efficiency. And all that means is that for 4,000 days, you can drain it from 100% to 0% and then back to 100%. That's one cycle. If you did that for 4,000 days, after that much work, it'll be 80% efficient compared to how it was brand new. Whereas on the F3800, they advertise 3,000 life cycles to 80% efficiency. So by 25% more cycles, this is gonna last 25% longer. The Delta Pro 3 is the clear winner here. But one of the secret issues that most people don't consider is what's called idle power consumption, which is the next category. And that is simply how much power do these use just sitting, running, nothing. Well, the Delta Pro 3 has a unique feature where every 0.2 seconds, it sends out a signal through the inverter to see if there's anything trying to draw power. And until it senses like a refrigerator needing to get power from it, it basically does not run any power through the inverter. So it only uses 38 watt hours per hour sitting doing nothing. Whereas the F3800 in the exact same scenario uses 77 watt hours per hour, basically double that of the Delta Pro 3. I don't know if the F3800 sends out signals to see if there's anything trying to draw power, but either way, when the Delta Pro 3 is running, it's using less energy than the F3800. So again, the Delta Pro 3 is the winner in this case, and it's really starting to rack up points against the F3800. But which one's gonna be the winner here? So you have to make sure you stay to the end so you can see which one is declared the official winner, which brings us to the next category, which is automatic transfer switch capable. And all that means is will these work with a smart panel that's provided by the same companies that these are manufactured by in order to run certain circuits in your house automatically if the power goes out. Now the Delta Pro 3 can link up with the smart home panel too, and the F3800 also has its own smart home panel that it will connect with, but there's a major difference between the two. The Delta Pro 3 in conjunction with the smart home panel 2 has circuit level control. And what that means is of the 12 circuits that are inside the smart home panel 2, I can choose to have circuits 1, 5, 7, 10, and 12 on and have everything else turned off. And then when I need those other circuits to turn on, I can program them to turn on, or I can even go on my phone and turn them on. So I have circuit level control. The major advantage of that being I can reduce how much power is being pulled from it at any given moment just with my phone. The F3800 unfortunately does not have circuit level control. So they both have smart home panels, but the Delta Pro 3 is the winner because you have more controllability, which gives you more efficiency. What if I'm not using an automatic transfer switch and I just need to move these around my house say from the kitchen to the bedroom or anywhere where I need portable power. That's where the weight comes in, which is the next category. The Delta Pro 3 is only 113 pounds, and I say only 113 pounds because you can't get this much power and this much battery capacity for a lightweight system. It just doesn't exist. 
113 pounds for what you're getting is considered on the lighter side. And especially compared to the F3800 coming in at 132 pounds, the Delta Pro 3 is obviously the clear winner because it's about 20 pounds lighter than the F3800. But that may not even matter because how easy is it to move around, which is the next category, which is ease of movement. So even though the F3800 weighs more, it's easier to move up and down stairs simply for the fact that the back of it is smoother and that makes the F3800 the winner for ease of movement. But what if I don't have to move any of them and I just want to control it from my app using my Wi-Fi wherever I am in the world? The next category is app control and the F3800 has a very nice app that's easy to use and understand that's built by EcoFlow. And Anchor Solix has also made their own app that's very easy to use and understand for the F3800. So both of them actually win in this category because they both have nice apps that are easy to use, update the firmware without any question, and I get all the information that I need in the app. And now we're to the final category and I'm going to give you one bonus category at the very end here. But the final category is warranty. What if something stops working and I need it fixed? The Delta Pro 3 has a five year warranty. That's one of the longest warranties when it comes to solar generators. Five years is considered very good and EcoFlow provides that for this unit, but Anchor Solix also does a five year warranty. So they both win a point in this category. Now the last category may be a game changer for the whole thing, but so far the Delta Pro 3 has a score of 11 out of 14. That's very high and the F3800 sadly only has six out of 14. So far, the Delta Pro 3 seems to be the clear winner, but the final category, which is very important to a lot of people, including me, is customer service. That's the bonus category, and a lot of people have had very mixed results. So first I'll speak to my own experience, and I have had issues in the past with my EcoFlow units. And EcoFlow has always responded to me quickly, replaced units, repaired units, whatever is needed to happen. With the Delta Pro 3, I've never had an issue on this. I've never had to return it. I've never had to have any special technical support fix it from afar. It has just plainly worked. So in terms of reliability and customer service, the Delta Pro 3, I think is very good. The F3800 though, Anchor Solux has also had impeccable customer service. I've not had any issues with my F3800. It's worked. I've never had any technical issues where I've needed to send it in, get a repair or anything like that. And for both companies, every time I call, I get an answer and I get an answer fairly quickly. But collectively, when I read through the comments on my channel on people commenting about EcoFlow and Anchor Solix, people majority of the time have had good experiences with EcoFlow and some people have had negative experiences. And the exact same thing has been seen for the Anchor Solix system. So again, they're tied. The Delta Pro 3 now has 12 out of 15 points and the F3800 has seven out of 15 points. So in my mind, the Delta Pro 3 is the clear winner. I want to know though, do you agree or do you disagree with what I evaluated here? I've just taken the specs and experiences of myself and people and put that all into this so that way you could see a clear winner. And in my mind, that's the Delta Pro 3. But before you go and comment that the F3800 Plus is actually far better than the Delta Pro 3, which we'd have to do another video on, you have to remember that there's the Delta Pro Ultra. But if you'd like to see that video comparing the Delta Pro Ultra and the F3800 Plus, I'd be happy to do that for you. Just comment that down below. And I'll also link my free solar generator comparison chart in the links down below where you can compare these units head to head against other brands as well. The Delta Pro 3 is the winner in my mind. I wanna know what you wanna see next and as well if you agree. If you wanna see the other videos that I think you would actually really like from my channel, I'm gonna put that right here so you can check that out. If you have any questions, email me at info at minutemansolar.com.